Hi, Scott here from the Centre of Excellence's Modelling Systems team. Today I'm going to be talking to you about backups. Backups are something that's really important for your research. You don't want your hard drive to fail and then you're left with nothing. Um, so it's one of the first things you should be setting up on the computer. I've got a confession to make. I'm terrible. I don't practice what I teach. But today I'm going to change that. I'm going to set up backups on my computer. So, um, there are a few different ways you can do backups. You can have an external hard drive. You can um, use something like Dropbox um, in the cloud or over the internet. Um, problems with stuff like Dropbox is they're not necessarily unlimited space. So, it's not a good place to put your duck put your data outputs from model simulations and that sort of thing. There's also stuff like MDSS at NCI which is a big um, tape based data storage facility um, which is easy if you're running your models at NCI because it's pretty simple to take them over. I'm not going to talk about MDSS today, today I'm just going to be talking about local backups on my computer. So um, I've got an external hard drive. Um, I'm running Ubuntu, so if I ls slash media, I can see I've got a two terabyte hard drive there. So what I'm going to do is set up automatic backups so every night um, all of my computer is backed up onto my external hard drive. This will protect me from stuff like a hard drive failure. It won't protect me from, say, a fire in the building which would destroy everything. Um, so you've sort of got to rank your the different levels of what you want to protect. Um, this isn't the only way I use backups. I also use GitHub a lot, which means things are synchronized between my computer and the main GitHub server, as well as a few things are copied across to, to different um, computers. So I've got a lot of stuff on value which will be backed up by NCI. Sometimes your own computers will be backed up by your local IT people. Um, that's something you should check into. So let's get started. So the best tool for, using, for doing backups on Linux is a tool called rsync. So it might, you might be using it to um, copy between uh, servers. You can also use it as a backup tool. So there are a few flags you can add to rsync to make it useful for backups. Dash "-a", means it's in archive mode. It'll preserve timestamps and owners. Um, capital A and capital X are to do with um, extended permissions and access control lists. They're just handy to have. They're probably not needed um, overall. All, all the time. And another handy thing is X, which means only look across one file system. If I'm backing up root, I don't want to also back up my backup um, hard drive. So um, let's have a look at the different file systems on my computer. I can do that with DF. And I'll just put the file size in human readable format is dash H. So these are all the file systems on my computer. Important ones here are root, so that's what everything's under. So if you don't use the dash x to have a single file system, backing up root will back up everything, including my backup disk. So you've got root, dev we don't care about, that's devices, that just comes with the computer, run, that's running processes we don't care, scratch is a local file system, that's my second hard disk as well as user local might be handy to have. So we're going to back up these three file systems root, slash scratch and slash user local. So let's first try out rsync. So we're going to make up make a directory for each of these. So we're going to go cd media hard drive and I've already got a backup directory here which is from the previous installment of my computer. So I'm going to make a new one just so I don't overwrite the old backups. 
Uh, so I upgraded to a more recent version of Ubuntu, which formatted my hard disk. So I'm going to make a directory. WhalesNix2 for my second backup iteration. And within that, I'm going to make slash root scratch and user local. And those are the three file systems I'm going to back up. So now let's try it. Um, the, what's the easiest to back up? Probably root. So let's start with that. So what we want to do is rsync then all of those options here dash a a x x delete so we'll be using that when we make this automated delete will if there's already some if the file is, is in the backup but not in your local storage so if you've deleted a file um, it'll also be deleted in the backup you don't have to do that you might want to keep around things if you do delete them and we're going to also do dash v for v verbose just so we can see what's happening and we're going to bash up back up root to media whales next whales next to root like that so we can see everything gets copied across we can see if we stop that I'm just stop that with control C we're in it set uh, if we try and start this again we'll just keep going where we left off so we're still in etc so let's look at our backups just to make sure things are working properly Wales next to root dash L so we can see we've got timestamps May 7th at 5.53 let's try ls dash L root and see what the difference is so it doesn't look like that works so we've got different timestamps and we've also got different users we can see it's in the backups they're owned by me whereas in the actual root directory they're owned by root this is because I don't have permission by default to write um, files with uh, ownership of root so that's something I'm going to change uh, you won't necessarily be able to do this you might not have permission to use the root user in which case this is be this would still be fine um, it's just harder to recover because you have to change the ownership of all the files so let's remove Wales next to root make that directory again and this time I'm going to run rsync with sudo So that will give me um, all the permissions of root. So if we look in there now, we will hopefully see. There we go. Root, root. Timestamps are still wrong. What we can do for that is we'll just go man rsync to look at all of the options. And timestamp. You can just type in slash. Oops. Um, slash is search. No. We're back. Um, I was only looking at the bottom here. These are still the files that have yet to be added. But we can see up the top we've got the original timestamps. So that's pretty good. So that's the that's the command we'll be wanting to use now what we're going to do is make that automatic so if we remember that's the command we're using to run things automatically we're going to use something called cron uh, which you give it a list of times to run run a command at and it just does it for you so we'll um, go we want to run it as root so oh you don't have to but we're going I'm going to for my own computer so I'm going to go sudo cron tab dash e so that lets you select things to be run at 
at specified intervals. So we can see here, edit this file to introduce tasks to be run by cron. You can say, um, it's say every 10 minutes, every few hours, every day, month, day of the week, or use star. So I want to run at 1 a.m. I'm going to run, so at zero minutes, one hour, every day, let me just line this up, zero minutes, the hour is one, every day, every month, every day of the week, we're going to run the command rsync dash a x a x double dash delete and we're going to say slash sorry that's the wrong case slash goes to media Wales Nix to TV slash Wales Nix two slash what's the next bit root Then we're going to do the same for our other file systems. You remember we had Scratch. And I'm just going to leave a slash after the end. So this here means that all of the subfolders will be backed up, but not the Scratch folder itself. So I only care about what's inside it. I'm going to change that to Scratch. and user local. It's going to be slash user slash local. So if we just pause that and go back to df dash h slash user local scratch and root. You can write that. So we've installed our new cron tab. Okay. Um, So uh, yeah, ls whales next to just rm whales next to root. And I just want to test this all works. So I'll just go back to cron. And it's currently six o'clock. So we'll change this to 1802. Um, so we've installed that. And so in one minute, it should be starting to run. LS Wales next to root. So we, there we can see it's starting to run. Dash L. So we can see it's starting to put in the right timestamps. And it'll go through and back up everything. So I can make sure in my home directory, home s Wales, things have appeared. So that's been an introduction to doing backups. We covered rsync as well as cron to make things automatic. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.